Perhaps the most startling revelation was Trump admitting on tape that he was downplaying the dangers of COVID because he didn't want to panic the stock, I mean, the uh, American people. Let me just grab a pen, a good pen. Welcome back to Punchlines, and it's the weekend wrap. Experts warned us that there was going to be a second wave this fall, but nobody told us that second wave was actually going to be a whole mountain of tell-all books about the Trump White House. This week, we were swamped with all these books detailing many more scenes behind the scenes of a what seems to be a dysfunctional and mendacious White House. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch, you don't have to touch things, right? But the air... You just breathe the air, and that's how it's uh, passed. Uh, It's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. I think Bob really, to be honest with you, sure, I want you. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. You didn't want to create a panic. You didn't want to create a panic. So what did you want? for people to very calmly be dying in the streets? (coughs) What's wrong, buddy? I'm dying, but it's chill. This is the Bay Bridge shrouded in an orange hue. The changing color is due to the ash and the smoke blowing in from the bare fire that is burning near Orville. Meanwhile, while the political world was focused on the firestorm stirred up by these new books about Trump, climate change was stirring up a real firestorm all across the western states. It turns out that the White House is also interested in downplaying the extent of Russian interference in our election. A senior DHS official came forward this week complaining about White House interference in his investigations. And Trump was reacting to the furor of the Atlantic's bombshell report that he called Americans who died in war losers and suckers, which has been confirmed by multiple outlets, including the AP, CNN, and even Fox News, and also by common sense. I mean, it sounds exactly like something Trump would say. He probably thinks anyone who dies is a sucker. I'm gonna live until I'm at least 200, just like Rudy. What's your secret, Rudy? You gotta sweat out the toxins, boss. Be a loser, soldier. Look out for number one and be an enlisted entrepreneur. After all, sacrifice and selflessness aren't even listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Blue America seemed obsessed with the Trump tell-all books, while Red America was celebrating the fact that Donald Trump had been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. We're here to talk about me, the winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. Under my administration, there have been so many books written about me committing treason. Michael Cohen wrote one, John Bolton, one of my hotter nieces. And then, of course, my biggest triumph, of course, I'm talking about vitamin C, coronavirus. And now folks are mad because Bob Woodward, Bob Woodward asked me on tape saying, I knew it would be deadly back in February. But to those folks, I say, called it. Remember that. 